Hi everyone. Today I want to demonstrate some optical properties and show some optical elements that I find particularly interesting. And because it's Nerd Thunder Month, hang out to the end and I'm going to share a link to another YouTuber I think you'll find interesting. So polarization is used quite a lot in optical equipment, whether it's industrial, scientific, or consumer products. And there's a lot of ways that you can achieve and create uh, polarized light. The most classic way is that you take a polarizer, one of these, and you run a light source through it and about half of your light is um, stripped out and then you end up with polarization along one axis. Many of you have seen this demonstration where you take another polarizer and you can put them in line and you can cross them and it demonstrates how you can block nearly 100% of the light when you uh, cross polarizers. There's times when you want to actually polarize light and have extremely high efficiency, and that's where polarization conversion systems come in. These devices, instead of wasting over half of the light, have a much higher efficiency, and they're amazing devices. They're, they're made often of slabs of, of glass with features that are embedded down in, in the middle of the, the slab of glass. and. If we take a look at what's going on inside of one of these, this is a typical case. There's going to be a lensing system that takes light from a source and then it strikes an internal reflector. And this reflector is a special type of polarizing reflector. So light of one polarization will continue through. Polarization of the wrong or the what you don't want will reflect off um, 90 degrees to it. And then there's some other materials that get embedded into these uh, polarization conversion systems. It's actually a, a material called a retarder or a wave plate, which can rotate the polarization. So you can embed a retarder and another reflector inside to rotate the polarization into the correct uh, axis that you want, and it'll reflect and come out. So one beam goes in, you end up with two beams, and you get most of the light that you uh, have put into your system, which is fantastic, especially if you're doing a projector, for instance, that needs to run on batteries, or a head-mounted display where you want to maximize the, um, all the light that's running through your system. So today I've put together this uh, test fixture that we can run some tests. So I have a laser light source down here that's not particularly polarized in any axis. It goes through some lensing. There's an iris here where I can control the size of the spot. There's a beam splitter right here that's splitting the beam in two pieces. And we have one experiment that runs this direction. And then there's a projection screen back here. And then the beam also continues forward to a place where we're going to put our device under test, or our, our optics under test. We have a photometer here that we'll um, do some measurements with. And then we have another screen back here that we'll use for another uh, test. So first, let's start with our classic kind of gray polarizer. Let's put this in here. So note we're uh, 200 lux, and this is just relative to the, the light in the room. We're going to put this polarizer in here. And, and we're losing, you know, probably half of our light or more. And let's put in a polarization conversion system. And let's take a look at that. So 200 lux put this in here, still very close to 200 lux. So the showing the efficiency of this particular system is quite high. So now let's go down this path here and we're going to take a look at what's going on inside of the conversion system. So through here we have a polarizer, so your standard gray polarizer, and then I have one of these special reflective polarizers. You can see that it's reflecting the, the light forward here. So the polarization is lined up in that particular axis that it wants to reflect forward. And back here we have no light striking the, the screen. I have some of this magic wave plate material, the retarder, and I can drop this in. And you can see on the projection screen that we now have light passing through that polarizer and the light is no longer going forward off of the, the reflective polarizer. So it's, you should also note that this material also has an axis to it. So 
depending on its orientation, its rotation in the beam, you can control how much it's rotating the axis of the, uh, the polarized light. And so that's what's happening inside the polarization conversion system. So now let's prove that we're really polarizing the light in the polarization conversion system. So I'm going to bring back our polarization conversion system right here. And I've taken the, uh, the light meter out. Now I have a polarizer here. And then we have a projection screen here showing two spots. That's where the both um, polarizations got split and then rotated into the correct polarization. So if I bring this polarizer in, when I'm on axis, light passes through. If I rotate it 90 degrees, those two dots go away. So both beams are polarized in the same axis. So let's prove it a different way. So the light going in, there's a single spot of light coming into the front. So I can take the polarizer and put it into the front. Now we've gone to one spot. And so that's, I'm only sending one orientation or one axis of polarization into the conversion system now. If I rotate that, we can see the other spot come in and then the other spot go away. So that's the two different optical paths going through the polarization conversion system. Very fascinating devices, highly efficient, beautiful, <laughs> very expensive to make but well worth it when you need to have maximum efficiency in your optical system. So now for the link. I would like you guys to go check out um, Mike's electric stuff. Um, I'm going to find a link to one of the videos where he's doing some optical um, tear down, some optical work, but he has some really great um, videos that cover a broad spectrum of electronics, optics, tear downs, so go check them out.